welcome to uh, this week's uh, question and answer session with me, Wendy Manapaledi. I've been getting uh, emails in from you through the week, so I've got some questions already. Um, but of course, just keep firing them to me if you've got anything you particularly want to ask. Um, How has your week been, everyone? So, uh, oh, I'm looking tired. It's been a long week this week. Uh, this is our second week in um, with Shielding, so hey, I've not been out anywhere. Um, Positive though, every evening, well I've got three kids, so every evening we come together for dinner um, and we're trying, you know, trying to keep them up beat, they're missing their friends and we try and think, you know, what good things are happening. Um, so I'm enjoying baking. I've, I've always liked baking, I'm not very good at it, I'm definitely no Delia Smith. Um, but I never have the time, it's always, my kids are a bit older now, so it's always take them to a club or I've got this and I've got that. But actually, you know, I've finished work for the evening and I've uh, got nothing else to do, so I've been making cakes. Probably not going to do anything good for my waistline at all. But uh, there we go. So uh, I hope you're all being well and everything's going good for you. So I'll make a start. So the first question, and I get asked this all the time, what is the best nappy? You know, out of all the ones. And I've got loads here today. I've actually got more than I had last week. Um, lovely uh, Jonathan Warehouse has driven some more down for me. So I've got way more here now. Um, so if there's something particular you want to have a look at, you want me to do, yeah, I can try and pull it out for you if it's one here. So what is the best nappy? Well, there isn't one. So if you're, oh, hopefully Gemma's just said you can't hear and think, can everybody else hear me? Or am I talking to myself? Anyone else hear me? Hello? Oh, good, I've seen some lights. So I'm gonna take it that it's just Gemma who can't hear me and the rest of you can. If not, you have to lip read. So, back to what's the best nappy. So there really isn't a best nappy. Um, there's, you know, th there's different nappies. There's the best nappy for you. There's kind of different scenarios. So if you live in a flat and don't have any, um, you know, drying facilities, you're going to want to go for really quick drying rather than um, slow drying. Uh, if you've got a really tall baby, you're going to want to go for nappy suitable for a tall child rather than suitable for a small one. So the worst thing you can do really is kind of go, right, I'm going to get cloth nappies. I'm going to buy what my sister, my mum, my friend, my, you know, something somebody else had and got on well with because it might not necessarily be the right thing for you. So it's really important to think what is important to you. And if you, you know, it's kind of where do you start with that? Fill in our advice questionnaire. We are you loads of bizarre questions on there you probably haven't even thought of. That's the idea. We're trying to get you to think what is going to be best. Fill that advice questionnaire out. We do all the hard work for you. We're assessing you know, what's going to be the best nappy and we'll send your recommendation. So if you're looking for the best nappy, give up. There is not a perfect nappy out there. There's just going to be one or two or maybe three that you know match your sort of scenarios. And lots of people do have different nappies. They might have one for nighttime and a different one for daytime. That's normal. It's you've got a different criteria. Your daytime requirements are going to be different to nighttime. So this is why people have different ones. Now, next question I get asked is, how many do I need? Up uh, it depends. There's <laughs> always the answer. But as a rule of thumb, and there's a general rule of thumb, based on washing every two days, you would have, if your baby is under six months old, you would have 20 nappies for washing every two days, but baby under six months. If your baby is over six months, you would have 15 nappies. And the reason it's lower is an older child just doesn't go through quite so many nappies, so that you, you don't need so many. So generally, under six months, you're going to need 20. For a baby that is over six months, you go for 15, based on washing every two days. If uh, you want to wash daily, you can have fewer nappies. And generally, you'd cut it in half, roughly. Um, so that's gonna help bring down the initial upfront cost. So yeah, give you a rough guide. Right, next question I had is, now what would fit in best? Um, right, high containment. My baby has explosive bottom and needs the highest containment. In that case, you're going to need a two-part nappy. So I'll grab one here and a cover. Now, if you're completely new to cloth nappies, then make sure you watch last week's uh, live demo that I did. I put it on the Facebook group, a business page. I've also filmed it on YouTube. So if you go to YouTube, it's a full demo. It's 90 minutes long. So if you join me this week and you haven't got a clue, watch that one as well, because that I go into absolutely all the details. This one is going to be more, you know, just kind of covering questions. So high containment, explosive bottom. You are going to need two-part nappy. 
Now the reason this is best for high containment is elastic at the legs and elastic at the waist and over the top you are going to put a cover and your cover has elastic at the legs and elastic at the waist again. So you've got double containment, you've got a bomb proof system. So if anything gets past layer one, they've still got layer two to go as well. So that is your bomb proof containment. And quite simply, if anything gets past two layers, nothing was gonna hold that nappy in. Think with a disposable, you'd only have one layer. So if anything gets past your disposable, it's baby's clothes that are going to get it. So two parts for explosive bottoms and also heavy wetters. Now I've got my first live question. What is the best terry fold for a toddler approximately 26 pounds, still not on solid poo? Okay, let me see if I can see the rest of the question just there. Um, a lot seem to loosen. Right, okay, terry squares for an older child. Now my first child, and I've got three, First child, he was huge. They were all breastfed, they were all fed in the same way, but he was a whopper solid one. Um, and I used Terry Squares on him, so he was my first one. And um, I, really quite early on, he needed some of the bigger folds. And the biggest I found was the kite fold, which I'll do ever so quickly. It's hard to kind of show you on this. I really must set this camera up so you can see it differently. Right, I have got all the videos for different um, Terry Square folds online. Uh, I found them years ago. I look much younger then. Um, so if you go onto our YouTube channel um, and you can have a look there, there's also links on our website. You go to the advice section and videos and I've got all Terry Square ones and I'll show it properly there. But there we go, that is the kite fold there. That's kind of the biggest one. And this is a 60 centimeter Terry Square I've got for you. If you've got a really big toddler, you could even get the 70 centimeter ones. Might only sound 10 centimetres, but it's 10 centimetres both ways. They are huge. But again, kite fold. So all I did there, ta -da, there's your corners. I pulled that in so you can see where it gets its name from. It looks a bit like a kite. And then you fold down your top. There we go. Look at that. It's your kite fold. And what you can do is you pull up the bottom again. But how to adjust the length. Look, I'm going to lose my fold now. But how you adjust the length is how much you fold here. So for a shorter child, you pull it in taller one and with Ben I actually had a big gap between them I didn't even bring right the corners in he was just he had rolls and rolls on him if you saw him now he's a skinny little thing but at the time he was a whopper he had these big wrist folds there we go you see I've made it wider by having a gap so that's a really good toddler one you're going to need a big wrap for that as well so look at the I don't think I've got it here but look at the thirsties that's the thirsties duo wrap I think this is that's a size two you want a size three. They go up to 60 pounds from memory. So really good wrap for older children. Also look at the Petty Crown Catcher delivery due in soon. I know we're out at the moment. Again, a bigger wrap. Right, okay. So thanks Amanda for that question. Uh, let's have a look. What would you recommend for a complete newbie? Just gonna read the question, so it's quite um, Newbie, whose other half wants ease of use. Watch your videos and like the look of Velcro want to order from newborn to potty right okay newborn to potty a lot of nappies are called birth to potty so you would think they go right from birth to potty however there it will be a compromise on fit because something that's going to fit a tiny newborn think you know seven pounds and has got to fit a 35 pound baby it's going to be chunky on a little baby on and sort of can be a bit tighter on an older one so what we tend to say is more kind of 10 pounds to potty rather than right from birth. Um, let's think. So if you're happy doing 10 pounds to birth, some options for you. So let me pull some up. So two part nappies from is a big, that is a Bubble Bubs big. That's a really cool one. So you just fold that over. You can make it small for a little baby. Comes with a nappy nipper. Now, often people say, ah, nappy nippers, my husband's not gonna do it. My husband loved them. He used to, when, he, when we took the children swimming, if it was his turn to kind of get babies ready, he likes showing off his nappy skills. I think he's on here, so hi, husband. He loves showing off his nappy skills, like, look at me with my gadget. So don't be scared. Really, they're simple. You can do it with your eyes shut. Practice a few times on a teddy bear. We're fine with that. If he really doesn't want to do that and wants Velcro, let me just grab one for you. Hang on. Have a look at the Top Spots Easy Fit. All in one, birth to potty. Velcro. Be aware though, older children um, often learn to undo Velcro, so that can be uh, sort of a bit trickier for an older one. Also look at the bamboozle or little lambs. But fill in the questionnaire. We, we, you know, put that all on there and we're really going to all your preferences and make sure we get the right one for you. 
So, which wrap would you recommend for a bumble? That isn't my piece. Yeah, fine. Now, bumbles. Now, they are made by our smallest company. Hi, Alison, if you're watching. She's just, you know, she's sewing at home. And she's one of our, you know, one of our oldest suppliers. You know, we've had her right from the start. That's a bumble. Really good for tall and chunky children. Super absorbent. Fully fleece lined. So, it keeps baby feeling dry. Great if you're in a hard water area as well. Because that's always going to be soft. But it's quite a wide wrap. So again, thirsties, I love a thirsties wrap because they're, they're sized, but they're, you, actually they're really quite generous. Also look at a catcher. Um, you have got, right, let me pull some other ones out here. Um, see, they're not new, they're still in the packaging. Have a look at the Vento wrap. Um, also, I have the Capri wrap. Not when baby's right at the top of the weight range. I have used um, a flip rack as well on them because it does actually cover right to the edges. Um, again, supply on flips, why well, I'm hesitant on that one, supply on flips is really quite tricky, as with everything, um, but, you know, they, they are there. Right, also, wool, and we're having a big eight wool promotion, so wool is, a, I'll have to do a whole different video on wool, I could talk about that for hours, but wool is another another option. Right, okay, when do we see your question? Yeah, hopefully I did carry, I think I covered it, right. If your baby has done a poo, do you need to rinse the nappy if it's not washing day, worried about the smells and stains? Right, obviously depends on your baby. This links in my list of questions. So, liners, two types of liners, disposable paper, reusable fleece. So, if your baby's done a poo and you've got a paper liner, that can be disposed of. Um, they used to be flushable, but now they're considered disposable because of the drains, we don't want the drains blocking. So, pooey liner, throw that away. Now, often people say, you oh, know, I've used a paper liner, but you know, it really wasn't good with newborn poo. See what liner you've got. All liners aren't made equally. So there are some paper liners and they're very thin and they're best for older children. So they've got a more solid poo. Newborn babies and young babies that haven't been weaned, look at the Bambanex liners. That's what that one is. Looks like a huge toilet roll. Or the other one is the Ultra liners, very similar. No supply of the Ultra liners at the moment. Bambanex is good. So poo nappy, bin that bit. If you've got poo still on your nappy, um, you know, if your line is missed, you forgot to put it in, you really should sluice your nappy out first. So sluicing means take the nappy to the toilet, put it in the toilet bowl, and the bowl is clean. They say something, your toilet is more clean than your kitchen table or something, because we bleach it so often. But anyway, put your nappy in the toilet, flush it. The power of the clean water helps to take the poo off, so you haven't got the poo sitting in your, in your nappy bucket. Same process if you've got a reusable fleece liner, you would get the poo off of there. Now, some people say, oh, if you've got a newborn baby, particularly if they're breastfed, you don't need to do that at all. You can just stick it in the, in the nappy bucket with all the poo on it. Yes, in theory, you can. Um, now, one of my children, before they were weaned, their poo came off any fleece, any nappy really easily. Uh, one of my other ones, it stuck like super glue. I don't know what it was, how he processed the milk, but it just wouldn't come off with sluicing. So I used to leave it in the toilet sitting there for a while, just kind of loosen up. But if I tried and flushing it, still not coming off, at that point you could put it in the nappy bucket. For beginners, that can be one step too far. And the thought of having pooey nappies in the bucket is too much, which is why we kind of often sort of guide people to starting with paper liners. My only reservation is that when people say that they don't put all pooey nappies straight into a um, nappy bucket is that if you're then sort of washing them, they're going around in more poo. So you've got to make sure your washing is right. So again, I won't go through all washing because I did that all last week. So make sure you watch last week's video on how to make sure you're thoroughly washing your nappies properly. Any questions, you know, just email me in. We'll be able to answer me even more advanced. So nighttime nappy, yay, that's on my list. Right, nighttime nappy, I'm going to do two stages of nighttime nappy. Right, so, kind of your average, your average normal ones. Oh, I've got another one. Thank you, Gemma, for bringing these all to me. Right, a common nighttime one, really popular, Tot Spots Bamboozles, made in Scotland. Yes, I haven't got any size twos at the moment. Tot Spots have uh, reduced their factory, so I haven't got them, though they are still trading a little bit. We do have size ones. Um, bamboo, really absorbent, really good for nighttime. Uh, very adjustable, generally fits almost all children, so you can't really go wrong. Other really popular one is it's cheaper. Uh, it's the Little Lambs Bamboo, slower drying than the bamboo um, than the bamboozle, but again really good. Short nappy, so best for short children, not tall ones. If you're a taller or a, you know you've got a chunky baby, don't go for it. Our cut off with Little Lambs, we kind of 
one of the questions on the uh, questionnaire. If um, mum is over five foot seven or dad is over six foot, we immediately discount little lambs just because you're a bit taller on average. So potentially you might end up with a taller than average child. So that's why we discount them. Other option um, is the Bambanex bamboo. There we go. So they are again, a very economically priced nappy, um, but a little bit longer than the little lambs. So that's an option. Now they're all your kind of, your normal ones. Over the top of all of those, you're going to need a cover. Capri cover, Thirsty's covers, wool covers. Again, depends which nappy you've got as to which one matches. If in doubt, email us, we can get you, make sure you're absolutely right. They will need covers. But if you've got a super, super wetter, so we're talking an older child or yeah, they just drink a lot, you want some super, super nappies. So we have some. So I'll go and say my next one up is the bum hugger. And which one did I ask for? I think I've got a small, no, this is a large one. So that is from, I think it's 15 to 40 pounds-ish around there. So that's the main size. They make a smaller size for younger children, not often needed because a younger child doesn't always wet so much. And there is a bigger one if you've got even bigger ones. Now, bum huggers, they're made by Ella's House. They specialize in hemp fabric. Hemp is super absorbent, but not really bulky. So um, perfect for nighttime. It's not absolutely huge, but it's gonna hold loads and loads and loads. Now with hemp, when you first get it, it's so soft, really, really soft. But that's because it's got natural oils in the fabric. So if you've got anything hemp, it's really important that you wash it about three or four times before you get started. It won't reach its maximum until 10 washes. So hemp, really important to get those natural oils out. It won't be as soft, but that means it's more absorbent. So that's your bum hugger. Um, Ella's house, they, they're coming from abroad as so many things are. We are still getting shipments from them. They are being really good with us um, and they keep coming. We've got another couple of boxes in. They also make, which I know is out of stock and I've just answered a million emails on it. I think that's the one. Yeah, it is. Ella's house bum boosters. That is a really popular, I mean, thousands of them, a um, nighttime booster that you could put in your bamboozles and things to increase absorbency. Uh, they are on the way. I think it's something like another 500 are coming. So yeah, the Ella's house still working under COVID-19. So more stock is coming. Just bear with us. Now, I'll bring out the mother of all, of all nighttime nappies, the baby behind night nappy. Uh, this is a medium. They also do a bigger size as well. Oh, wow. This is so absorbent. Um, We've got stock in. We just had a delivery this week. It's one of those nappies. It's a very niche nappy. It's designed for really heavy wetters. Um, but the, the stock, it's come from Australia, so we can't always get stock. Look at all of that. How much absorbency is in there? So the actual nappy on its own is absorbent. You know, there's a lot of layers there inside the nappy. But then you have all of this absorbency. And it can be removed, but you wouldn't really remove it because it, this, you, only, you wouldn't use this at night time, um, daytime, it really is nighttime. So you've got all of those, and look, they've, they've layered it to speed up drying. So when you hang it up on your area, you really sort of dangle it all around. But look how much you can move that absorbency. You can put it, look at those layers, that's huge. You can put that exactly where you need it. So if you've got a little boy wetting towards the front, move all those layers to the front. Don't waste your absorbency at the back. Obviously, if you've got a girl on their way into the back, you move it to the back. You move it exactly where you need it. So it's not a particularly cheap nappy. I can't remember off the top of my head what it is. I think it's around 21 pounds each run it. See, someone's put a link up for me. But really, really super absorbent. Um, over the top of that, you're gonna need a big cover. So again, our biggest ones, it tends to be the Thirsty Size 3. Also have a look at the Disana PUL wrap. Not a very well-known one and not super pretty. It's white, it's just plain white. And it's like old fashioned, um, like pull-up plants, but in modern fabric, but really big. They actually go bigger than sort of the extra large airflow. So again, if you're, you've got a big nappy. And again, wool, wool, really breathable, helps some of the weed to evaporate. So heavy wetter, really, if you've not heard of them before and you've got a heavy wetter, really have a look at those. Right, okay, what was another question? Uh, oh, got those questions we catch up. Uh, right, do you need to wash terra squares to uh, increase absorbency? Yes, anything that you've got uh, that is absorbent. So any nappy product that its job is to absorb urine, you need to pre-wash it. Think of it like you buy a new um, tea to towel, you know, dishcloth for washing up your, you know, your plates and things. It doesn't do um, the job until you've washed it a few times. It's 
really pretty and fresh, you know, sitting in the kitchen, but it's not absorbent, it's not fluffed up. Same as if you bought muslins new. Muslins are very smooth fabric until they've been washed. I don't know where my muslin's gone this week. Um, so yes, you must pre-wash everything. General rule of thumb, um, you wash them twice to get them going, uh, and that should bring you to enough absorbencies to start using. Averagely, generally by the time it reaches five washes, you've kind of hit maximum. Hemp is the exception because of all of those um, natural oils in there. Hemp is kind of like 10 washes, but that doesn't mean, I've seen people, you know, it's like washing and washing and washing and washing before they use it. A couple of times, get started, change a bit more frequently. Um, what would you recommend for a longer baby? Oh, that's one of my questions. Yes, now, I'm not tall. I'm not even five foot four, didn't even make average, and my husband isn't either, he's five ten. Um, but we had, out of our three children, I had a really tall one, it's taller than me now, it's very annoying. I had a really tall child, I had a short child, he's shorter than average, and I have an average one. Perfect, I got to test everything. So, for the tall children, different brands. So instead of saying the little lamb's microfiber, have a look at the teddies made by Bambinex. This is microfiber, really fluffy, really quick drying, longer, much longer than other nappies. Really good for tall children. Uh, there's also the sister nappy too, which I mentioned earlier, which was the Bambinex bamboo. I feel like I throw things around and I've lost it. Right, it's here somewhere. Not that one, that one, that one. Ah, there he is. Yeah, so that's the sister to the teddy. That's the Teddy in, it's got the same size now. Te uh, teddy in microfiber, Bambinex Bamboo in bamboo. So they're good tall, long options. The Bumble, love the Bumble. Um, bumble is made tall. Now, you'll see that I don't think there's any stock in of the Bumble at the moment. They're made by the one lady um, in this country. She is um, so in the way for us and we are due a box soon. We are largely taking bumbles in nippers rather than poppers because she can make them quicker. And quite simply at the moment with COVID-19, we just need to get nappies out and available for people. So bumbles will come um, soon and they will be back in that you can just order them and they'll be sent straight out for you. So bumbles a good option. Um, also the Bubble Bubs Big, again, it's quite a long one. Uh, that's the big one. See, it's quite a long nappy and it's a nipper one. So again, good for tall children. In terms of all-in-ones, let me have a look at my big pile here. Um, have a look at the very longest one is the Mio Solo. Um, that is really long. Now, my average child, so she was my third one, um, even when she potty trained and she finally got out of nappies at two and a half, she wasn't even on the full length of this. She was still on the middle setting. It really has got a really long rise. And it's really good if you've got a chunky monkey because the elastic's really long. That is always one of our go-tos for um, taller children. Other ones I like, I, I'll tell you the name of them, but it's quite hard to get the stock, is Bum Genius Elemental. We've had a small delivery this week. It was tiny. We usually take pallets. It was like a box. Um, not me, it's them. They haven't got any stock. But, you know, that, that is an option if you can get it somewhere. Um, Bum Genius version 5 is a pocket nappy. Again, same issue, but, you know, if you can find it. Other one is Charlie Banana. Now, we are doing another delivery, um, and that is a pocket nappy. They do it in microfiber, or they do make an organic option now. Again, it's really stretchy, but this one, it doesn't alter with poppers. It alters with, like, brass wraps. So, and then when you've put that on the longest length, it's actually really quite a long nappy. Um, other one like is the blueberry. Now the blueberry simplex is the all-in-one, but it's the blueberry pocket, which I don't think I asked Gemma to bring me, I'm sorry. Um, the blueberry pocket, it's a much, it's a super absorbent, but it, it's really good for tall, chunky children. So have a look at that one. I know blueberry stock is really, really low because it's been so popular, but we've got two deliveries that we're just waiting for. Blueberry factory, like everywhere in the world, has had to um, scale down for social distancing. So deliveries are being uh, you know, taken longer, but I've tried to put on the website what I know is coming. So if the website does say, coming soon, I don't have a proper date, but it is, it's due on the next shipment. Um, once I do know a proper date, like I've seen it in transit and I'm tracking it, I try to put an actual date on there. So you'll suddenly see it saying, here we go, you know, it's due in two days. That's, that's me based on what I've got with tracking. Right, okay, what is the maximum size weight the bimble goes up to? Oh, where's my bimble? Um, I haven't got my bimble. It's in my washing basket upstairs. So I have to get a bimble out for you. I've got a video online. So a bimble is a newborn nappy. It's a one that officially i think goes up to 15 pounds but i have never got it beyond a baby in 12 pounds they are lovely 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 so yeah made by 
same lady who makes the bumbles in Oxford, really tiny nappies. And we, again, we've got her making those because we know how many sort of newborn um, mums, you know, desperately need nappies at the moment. So she's making those and again, she can make those quite quickly. So they're coming. Uh, bimbles fasten with a nappy nipper again. So they work really good for newborns. If you can't get hold of the bimbles, the other one, I don't know what I've done with it. I've literally got thousands of nappies here. Oh, no, that's it, that's it. Is if you can't get hold of bimbles, get the bubble bubs, bam, bam. It is super cute, very similar to a bimble. It's not fleece lined, um, so you'd need to use a separate liner, but it works in a very similar way. It's really, really tiny nappy, and that actually goes down to about 12 pounds, and that does go up to about 15. So that is another option for you. You'd use that with a nappy nipper, but that would be your newborn options. Gonna need a cover over the top, um, so have a look at tiny covers. We just had a delivery yesterday. It was not fun to unpack, I can tell you. Uh, was the Malovia nappies, and we've had now got the newborn size in and the one size. We've been out of stock for a long time. Malovia, their lead time for me to get stock is three months. So what arrived yesterday, I ordered back in sort of like um, right at the start of the new year. It's finally arrived. So they are really popular ones. Blueberry newborns, really popular. I I think we are out of the newborn size. Uh, I know we had some last week, um, but more coming. Um, also, Bubble Bubs, they make their own little newborn one. Um, Mother is Ricky, I don't think I've got any left of those at the moment. Oh, but Petty Crown, uh, they make the Keeper and Keeper newborns. I've definitely got some of those coming. They are really trim. Petty Crown's quite a new brown, but it, it's really, really good. Right, uh, I hope I'm genius. But me and photos, so can't go. Yeah, send us pictures. If you're ever having a fit problem, you know, you just can't get it on right, you're really not sure, send us pictures. Obviously, you know, we're baby covered up, but, you know, show us the legs, show us the top, the waist, show us all different angles, and we can kind of have a look. We've seen all sorts, and sometimes it's just kind of, you think you've got it on wrong, and you've got it on right, but we can just have a look and hold your hand. So email us in. Even though we're all shut down, I'm stuck at home, but we've all got the internet when it's working. So just email in and the advice team, you know, that we're on hand, we will get back to you um, and, you know, try and kind of a bit more bespoke. And if you are having any problems that, you know, photos aren't cutting it, we've also got a demo service as well. So you can speak to one of the team, have a one-to-one -one like this, and we can do things together to get it right for you. Right, just to read this question, it's not coming. All right, news club. A wall cover suitable for all year round. Yes. Yeah, you can use wool all year round. It's an amazing fabric. I'll take it out of the bag, actually. Um, so this is the Desana one. We've got other ones in there. Petty Lulu make wool wraps. I've also just got Baby Behinds new wool wraps in as well. Or um, there's some really pretty ones, um, company Knots and Dots, they hand make them for them. But you can use wool all year round. It really helps regulate temperature. So it's warm in winter and it's um, cool in summer. And they cover up. You can see how deep they are. Look, you know, they kind of go right down the legs. Have a look on the Nappy Lady parenting page, like our Facebook group. There's loads of people sharing pictures of their babies in wool. Oh, they are so cute. Um, wool, over at nighttime nappy, pretty much it's so forgiving. You can pretty much have as many boosters as you want in there. Um, also, that was a question I had here. was about where do your boosters go with your nighttime nappy? So, grab one here. I'm trying to remember the questions as I go. So, your nighttime nappy, this happens to be a bamboozle. It comes with a booster inside, but for nighttime, you need to put an additional one in there. So an additional booster you can put inside just to give you more absorbency so that your nappy can last, you know, you're kind of looking for sort of 12 hours. If that's still not enough, and some children, you know, they drink for England, we can put more. Don't put more inside because that will, it can kind of compromise the fit on your legs, but you can put additional boosters around the outside, just gonna be held in place by your cover on the top, but that's giving you more absorbency because that's gonna pull the wee through, but not compromising the fit on the leg. And in theory, there is no limit to how many boosters you can put around on the outside. This one I've just picked up is Hemp again, that's a Hemp Babies. Um, hemp Babies is actually made by the company who made Bum Genius. Uh, we've got them in stock at the moment. Um, yay. <laughs> so they are in, really popular. Hemp needs lots of pre-washes, um, but yeah, Put them around the outside, you just need to have a cover over the top. And often if you're having to really boost a nighttime nappy, you need to have a much bigger wrap because um, you know you, you might your baby not might not be the weight range, but you need to cover all of it. So it's quite common to go up a size. Right, now go back to my questions, things that have been asked in the smear board. 
Uh, bought two motheries, extra small apps for a newborn. Um, we've done it. Um, so it depends on the size of baby. Motheries rats they make two sizes that cover the same weight range. Really confuses people. So this is a great question. So extra small goes from six to twelve pounds. Small goes from six to twelve pounds. Amount of emails we get saying, is that a typo? No, it's not. The extra small is trimmer. And the extra small is designed for a, only a small selection of nappies, which would be the Sandy's extra small or the Bimbles, the um, Bam Bams, Muslins, tiny size zero nappies of what the extra small wrap goes over. If you're not using what's an officially a size zero, a teeny tiny extra small nappy, then you need to go to the small size is where it's kind of like the normal one to start with. Right. OK, I've covered lots of these. We've done talking. Um, skinny kids. Yes. What do you do if you've got a skinny one? So, there's nappies which are slimmer. Now, I don't know, I can't spot it. Hang on, it's a big box. Look, you know what I'm looking for. The one I'm looking for, which I believe, oh, no, no, that's what it is, the um, Bambooty Basic. I can't believe, I had it last week. I left the house. Here somewhere. So if you've got a really skinny baby, have a look at the Bambooty Basic. It's an all-in-two. It's a great budget nappy. Um, it's not too pocket. It really is quite narrow between the legs. So I love that one. Also, have a look at the uh, Bear and Boho. That is an all-in-two again. There we go. It comes with a separate booster and the inside snaps inside. So when you change an all-in-two, you take the insert out, put a clean one back in, and you reuse the cover. Again, it's really quite a trim nappy. It's definitely not a bulky one. They're really popular with the Bear and Boho because they've got elasticated um, inners in there, so that's a good one. Also, the candy, which people often go, oh, I've never heard of that one. Um, again, it's made by Bubble Buzz. This is a bit different, actually. We, kind of, we did some um, things on social media a few weeks ago to kind of get people to know about it. So it's birth to potty, but no poppers on there. So there's no like poppers to adjust the length, it's all around the elastics. So it's designed to you know pull up around baby, if the elastics are kind of stronger to kind of put it in for smaller babies and stretch out. And that comes with um, different inserts. We sell the cover separately, and then you can buy, just grab it in my hand, the, um, that's a booster, or you have got the trifold which just snaps in. So being an all in two, when you come to change it, you snap that bit out and then snap a clean one back in and reuse your cover. Again, it's a really trim, look, look out, that's really quite narrow between the middle. And they've got a kind of a bit of a cult follow, following. And we started having some of the bubble bubs, the bam bams and things, and people kept asking for the candy. So uh, we brought the candies in. Uh, yeah, really unusual because you, you, you haven't got to alter the length. So again, if you've got a sort of reluctant nappy changer, that's a really, really good one. Um, what else did I have for slim babies? Um, anything different that I've not already shown you. Oh, yes, another one. Again, do you know, it's a really well-known brand, Grovia. Really well-known in the US, but they're just they're not so popular over here. Um, and that is, they make loads of different ones, um, but this is the Grovia All-in-One. Not to be confused with the O-N-E. That's a whole lot other demo. Uh, but that, the Grovia All-in-One, really narrow between the legs. Organic cotton again, so organic cotton, Super absorbent, not too bulky, um, and everyone's favourite one, the uh, Blueberry Simplex as well. Again, quite narrow between the legs. Organic cotton, really absorbent, so it doesn't need loads of absorbency. Any questions I've missed? Uh, pajamas. Yeah, you can put pajamas on over wool. Yeah, it, it depends on um, uh, with all. Some people do put pajamas on. Some people don't. It depends if you've got a grow bag or not. I used to sort of have wool and then just a grow bag over the top and not have pajamas. You want the wool to be able to breathe. So I always try to keep it as the sort of like the, the outside cover. Right, from my other questions, I'll go back to my list. So I've done skinny babies. Uh, yes, right. Okay, this is right. I am going to do the question, the difference between the two part and an all in two. So again, I covered this last week. So I'm just going to rush through it now. Um, so if you need more details, have a look back to last week's. So the difference between a two part and an all in two, really common. And it, you know, it takes some getting your head around it because they almost sound the same. So a two part nappy is nappy and separate wrap, two parts. They do not attach together at all. Uh, you'd put your nappy on. This happens to be a little lambs, but you know, I've got a big pile of different ones there. Little lambs nappy, and then you put your separate cover over the top. So you've got two separate parts. 
When you change this nappy, you take the cover off. If it's not soiled, you see to one side, replace the nappy, you change that one, get a clean one, and then you reuse your cover. And generally, you reuse your cover four times until it needs washing. So that's your two part. Best containment, two separate layers, really highly absorbent. Not to be confused with an all in two. All in two, two parts, but they are attached together. They separate usually with poppers. So for washing, you'd unpopper it, but then when you change baby, you pop a clean one back in there. So once you've done the work and attached them together, they are all in, all together. But you can entirely separate them as well. So all in two um, tend to be a little bit slimmer to put on. I'd, I'd loosely say a little bit quicker to change. Um, make sure you have a look at my video I've done of the Bear and Boho because I kind of explain how to use the system and how to change it when you've, you're using an all-in-two. But the difference is largely your containment and absorbency are going to be lower. I and mean, if you compare that, the size of the insert to the size of the nappy, there's a lot more fabric in your little lambs than there is in that insert. More fabric, more absorbency. Uh, what is the weight range sizing for Blueberry Newborn? Oh, you're testing me my memory today. So your newborn simplex, I don't have a tiny, the newborn one here. Have a look at the demo video um, Facebook Live we did with Gemma early in the week. I think she got out one of the simplex. She did uh, a video just on newborns. Again, I've, I've still linked it up on our pages and things. From memory, it goes from about five pounds, which is issue kind of like no, no newborn, up to about 12 pounds. Anything that's newborn size, Size zero is generally a cut off of around 12 pounds. Um, the Simplex is really trim again, it's organic cotton, so it's not super um, bulky. And the Simplex does have a little popper to pop down as well for when you've got the umbilical cord, so it's one of the nappies that keeps it through. Um, uh, they're quite expensive. They are, they are expensive. The newborn um, blueberries, yeah, that anything that's an all-in-one is going to be expensive because you've got the cover and you've got the uh, inner inside. So a newborn is always going to be expensive. This is why we tend to guide people more towards having sort of like birth to potty nappies because you know it's a bit more cost effective. So you might want to consider having like muslins again for your newborn stage, really economical newborn nappy, and then moving on to um, a birth to potty one. Depends on what your budget is. It was I, I just had a couple of the newborn all-in-ones just. For so cute, you know, going for weighing and things like to show off. Um, but again, if you need some help on that, you're not sure, email us in. We'll all be happy to make sure we take you on the right way. Oh, I look, I'm talking right. Okay, we've done that one. Uh, we're popping originals. I've got one of those. Uh, not white clean wrap. Can you reuse the cover? Right, yes. Let me find him. Here he is. So, pop ins. Again, here we go. This is a, it's kind of pop in by a close parent. Really popular nappy. It's a main brand one. Uh, they come with bamboo that is on the inside. They come in either they make box sets, which I think are all the plain colours, and they tend to be a bit cheaper, or you've got the printed covers. Now, the pop-in is officially an all-in-two. How I know that is because the insides pop out. So in theory, when you change this nappy, you would take the nappy off and you would unpopper this section, and then you put another one back in. Very, very few people do that. Most people, when they buy one of the pop-ins, they just use it like an all-in-one. So you put the nappy on, and when you come to change baby, you take the whole nappy off and um, you know put a new one on. But in theory, it's an all-in-two. I mean, you, some people just unpopper it just to speed up drying. The all-in-two, uh, like the pop-in, it currently has like this fleece that's in the waterproof um, cover. It's attached to that. That's to help draw we through. And that's part of the reason we kind of um, guide people to use them more like an all-in-one, purely because it's taking the absorbency through there and you want to um, redo the cover. Now, the pop-ins, um, they're quite, it's not the slimmest of nappies. You can make it slimmer by taking the extra booster out. But I do find the tabs, Overall, the tab area is um, really quite short. They kind of got stretchy elastic there that you can stretch, stretch on, but it, it hasn't got a huge amount of stretch. So it tends to be one of what I kind of call as one of our more sort of um, niche nappies. So that, um, you know, it's best for a certain size baby. So it tends to be, you know, they've kind of got to be quite um, slim, slim to fit into that one. Right, so that's your pop-in. The newborns, uh, close parent also make a newborn um, pop-in, a tiny little size. 
that again it goes up to 12 pounds but it's um it's one of the really smaller ends of them. So if you've ever um, had our hire kit before, which our hire kits, we're not taking any more bookings for 2020. Purely we were already booked up to November before COVID-19 hit, um, but we just can't guarantee we can get them out. So there's no bookings on them. But if you've ever had one of our newborn hire kits and have a look at the contents, you can see what I've put in there. I do a mixture because all of the nappies kind of fit in a different way. So you might have some smaller ones in there that are like the born smart. That's a newborn nappy, and that's best, you know, for under sort of like nine pounds. Up to some bigger ones like teeny fits, which are better, you know, kind of from about eight to twelve pounds. So, kind of, if you are looking for all in ones newborns, mix and match it a bit. Right, okay, well, and question. Um, da -da 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 -da. Da -da -da. older version. I have the older versions, yes. This is going back to the poppins, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, yes, there has been low, uh, older versions before. They used to make them with either bamboo or minky. Uh, minky being microfiber just wasn't as absorbent. Uh, they've not been around for a while now. Um, we always try to, if we never know something's being discontinued, we always wipe the stock out quite quickly. So it's been a few years since I've seen one. Um, they're still fine if you kind of get one second hand, but just not as absorbent. And they've made improvements over time with the um, covers. The popping is comes in Velcro or poppers. The Velcro is the more popular one, which is unusual because a lot of all-in-ones, most of them tend to be poppers now, but that one does kind of give you the option. Right, okay. So I picked up those. What else have I got in here? Oh, is microfiber bad for your skin? So microfiber, polyester. Um, just like the same fabric as a kind of, you've got a fleece jacket, it comes out of the machine, it's almost ready to, you know, wear again, it dries really quickly. That's the main benefit of it. Uh, obviously, it's not a natural fabric, so people often worry about having it next to the skin. So inside your nappy, you'll always have a liner, so it won't directly be on the skin. It would either be paper or it would be a reusable um, fleece liner. So the microfiber is actually next to the skin. Now. In terms of you know how soft it is, microfiber always stays soft. And this isn't a new nappy, this is one from a higher kit, it's actually quite well used, but you can still see how fluffy it is. And this is a teddy, and these are ones that I used um, myself uh, because I needed quick drying. Uh, at one point I had two children in nappies, we didn't have a tumble dry, I need I need a turnover. Uh, my middle child, it's always the middle one, really sensitive skin. Um, so I needed things soft on his skin. So I actually preferred using microfiber ones rather than cotton or bamboo because without a tumble dryer, cotton and bamboo will go harder over the time. Just like your bathroom towels do. If you've not got tumble dryer, you'll know what I mean. They go crunchy as they get older. The same will happen with nappies. Nappies are effectively fancy bathroom towels. You know, it's just sewn in a different way. Whereas microfiber always stays soft. So I actually preferred them on his skin because it was just so soft and fluffy. It really is, it really is lush, those ones. Um, right, it's really, yes, it will be. This will be available afterwards. I'm going to make sure I link it up um, and hopefully it'll go up on uh, YouTube as well later in the week. Um, I will pre -fold. I've got a quick oh, thing about those, um, but I just can't seem to get on with them. I have a newborn size baby. Right, let me find my pre fold and let me find your solution. Um, ooh, the camera went, did I bring? Right, okay. Uh, yes. Right, so pre fold. Um, pre folds, this is a Bambino Mio pre fold, so it's birth to potty. Remember what I said about birth to potty? It's more like £10 to potty because that's a lot of fabric on a teeny tiny baby. You can get some pre-folds, and Bambino Mio used to make them in sizes. You can get other brands that do make uh, ones. So ideally, if you really want to go for pre-folds, go for size ones if you're using from birth rather than a birth to potty one. They can be picked up really cheaply secondhand. So it sounds bizarre, but I don't encourage people to buy these from me. If you want to use pre-folds, buy them secondhand. You can get them for like 50p. Our selling page is um, suspended at the moment because of COVID-19. We don't want to encourage people going out and um, you know more than they have to, so we've suspended it. But past COVID-19, you'll be able to get them really cheaply. So budget nappy, the containment of a pre-fold is low, and you'll see that on the website. I saw an online comment the other day. I thought she's got a really weird selling technique because I don't love these. I don't love them when people think they're getting a really fancy nappy and it's actually really basic. It's basically out like our Terry Square. And I often get people say, oh, I don't want to use Terry Squares, I use pre-folds. Not really much different. The reason it's called a pre-fold, and it sounds like you're getting something fancy because it's pre-folded, but what that means is the middle section has been pre-folded. This has got more layers in it than the outside bit. That, that's the pre-fold, you still do the physical folding. 
uh, different folds, got them on the website uh, in the same section as Terry Squares. Some that you can fold and use with nappy nippers, that will give you a higher containment. But the basic fold, it's a pad like that. Obviously, there is no elastic in there to hold in poo, so you are just going to rely on your outside cover to keep everything in. Uh, Bambino and Mio make their own covers, so there's Mio Soft. You can also use that uh, one I mentioned earlier, which was the Flip cover, also the Capri cover or the Melovia cover. Um, you're kind of looking for a cover that's got a section there that's going to hold, hold the pad in. Um, so then, you know, your pad's going to be inside there. It's not going to fall out because you've got the front and the back section. Um, but then you're relying on the elastic there for containment. Still budget nappy. Or the other thing you can do is get the Bum Genius. Uh, they make it, it's the Elemental Joy. Not the Elemental, the Elemental Joy. Now this is a pocket nappy. Um, but it does not come with any insults. It's sold separately. So you've got the cover. Fits burst to potty, goes all the way through. Inside is fleece lined, but you can stuff that with your really cheap pre-fold. So your 50p cheap uh, pre-fold, stuff that into your cover, and now you effectively have a highly absorbent pocket nappy for you know, a really budget price. And Bungie has made these for that very reason. It's ethically made, it's made in America. Um, all the dyes, the poppers, the stitching will be safe. Um, so everything you've got, you've got a nice safe nappy there with you're using your pre-folds. You've effectively got a modern nappy. So with your pre-folds you've got, go for those. From about 10 pounds. Now, being made by Bum Genius Supply is really, really patchy. We had that really tiny delivery I mentioned this week. We had some of those in there. So if you are thinking about them, please just don't delay and get them the next shipment. I just don't have a date at all. You'll see on the website, I'm gradually moving dates at some things. If I have no idea when it is, I'm moving them to like next year's dates because with COVID-19, I just, I just don't have a clue. Um, so yeah, if you want those, please get them quickly. Uh, right, okay, good. Uh, Pre-folds, I've answered that one. Right, I'm getting through my questions now. I'm getting towards the end. Uh, can you wash wipes and nappies together? Yes, absolutely. Uh, washable wipes, if you're using washable wipes and use nappies, put them into the same uh, bucket. Wash it all together. I did the washing last week on last week's video, so I won't do it again now. Um, but watch uh, last week's video on how to wash them. Any questions I don't cover on last week, just send me a, an email. But yes, yeah, wash them all together, no problem at all. Uh, I covered that question. Uh, wash and store, difference on those. Done paper and fleece liners, wraps for bigger babies. Which fabric's most absorbent? Um, so that would be kind of like your hemp's and your bamboo's are your most absorbent, but also your slowest drying. So anything that's super absorbent like bamboo really holds on to the liquid when it comes out of the washing machine so there's more to evaporate. So it's gonna take um, more time to dry. So say the little lamb bamboo can take about three days on an era to dry. It is not quick. Very absorbent, but you pay the price on the drying speed. Um, some people with the little lambs, because they are so cheap and it's on offer, I think it's seven for 35 pounds about now, they tend to buy more. <laughs> I always try to avoid buying more and just, you know, have something a bit quicker drying, but everyone's got to make their own choices. So that's your, your higher absorbency, slower drying. Your other end, quicker drying, is going to be your microfiber. We'll turn it around easily in an afternoon. Say I use microfiber a lot myself for the drying speed. Take them out of the machine, almost dry, air them, you know, for an afternoon and you're good to go to the other end. And cotton's very much in the middle. Lots of people have mixture and match of um, fabric, so they kind of got something to cover at all occasions. My own nappy washing, my favourites were microfiber because they, um, they were quick drying. But what I used to do is wash them all together and then I'd have them on the air. And then in the morning, uh, that day, I'd take off the microfiber ones, make them up with the liner inside and that was that day's nappies. And then kind of like later on in the day, the cotton ones would be dry now, so I'd make those ones up. And then by the time I'd run through my cotton ones, my bamboo would be ready. So I'd use those ones and then we'd wash them and we'd start the whole thing again. Um, that's how I tend to use it. You can imagine my nappy supply, I had bits of everything. Um, right, uh, done. Oh yeah, benefits of uh, one layer nappy. Right, okay, yes. 
this is right i've covered some of it already which was the containment you get higher containment i think this is my last question so if you've got anything else fire at me otherwise i'll i'll uh, wind up after this one so covered the higher containment with the two-part nappy but somebody wanted to know about all-in-ones uh, and is the containment why isn't it so good so it's not as good as a two-part nappy because you've only got one layer of elastic so if anything gets past that one layer it's onto baby's clothes and it's the same with a disposable if you get a poo leak on a disposable it's straight onto baby's clothes but any cloth nappy pretty much is going to perform better than a disposable because of strong elastic. And it's why the elastics are really key. So if you have got older nappies, and I've seen people, you know, what they've been handed down from friends and things, and the elastic's perished, nothing will last forever, and elastic will eventually go. So how you test your elastics is, does it stretch? It's kind of it. You're, up, you, you're looking for a good kind of couple of inches stretch on there, so you know that that's going to fit round baby. So a good cloth nappy with good strong elastic should perform better than a disposable because the elastic's stronger, it's going to be snugger. Disposables are designed to be used for sort of two hours and thrown away forever more. They're not going to give you really good strong elastic. So um, that particular customer is trying to decide, you know, two part um, all in one. So whatever you kind of choose is going to be better than a disposable, but the ultimate most bomb proof is the two part ones. So that is, uh, oh, God, I've got a question. What is the best newborn wraps for the little lambs, size one, if you on a smaller baby? Right, so first thing, size one little lambs, not the best choice for newborn. Officially, it's, you know, starts at seven pounds, but that is still actually quite a big nappy on a, a, a newborn baby. I'm talking real newborn um, because it's a size one. It's not a size zero. Um, so really, again, I, I prefer things a little bit more, kind of like nine to 10 pounds on the little lambs. But for a cover over the top, little lambs, I'll bear with my, oh, I must show you that one. Uh, little lambs make their own covers to match. I actually prefer the size one cover from about 12 pounds. I just find it, it's actually quite a big cover. Um, so for newborns, have a look at the Melovia, have a look at the Capri's, have a look at the Bubble Bubs, um, have a look at the Thirsty's Duo size one as well. They're, they're all good ones that will fit over the little lambs without being too trim. You don't want a, one, um, a wrap that's too trim because it will pull it all in and make it too snug. Right, okay. I have pocket nappies and my little boy is a heavy wetter. Any recommendations? Um, so this is probably, um, so I want to email in because I need to kind of know um, what your what pocket nappies you've got, what fabrics you've got in there, how old they are, which inserts you've got, blah, 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 or loads and loads of questions. You email in, you, I just send you back questions because I need to know everything to get it right for you. So email us in, we get all the information from you, what you've got, and we get you the right boosters for what you need. So uh, we can sort that easily. Right, so oh, the last thing I had to show you, and I asked for this, Gemma, tell me if I don't you, was the um, Petty Lulu covers. Now, we're really quite low on them, um, but we have got a delivery, should be in next week. So, these are um, pull-up covers. This is, what size did I ask for? I think this is a medium size. We also get right down to the extra small, small, medium, this large and an extra large. And these are fabulous. They are really quite deep. So, they're great for covering larger nappies, um, sort of like nighttime ones as well, and with boosters because it's coverage. You pull them up, they're quite puffy, and they're designed, the fit is different. The, um, the fit of them is designed, they don't have to be really snug. There's often, you've often got a gap at the legs, people think it's gonna leak, but it's designed to be loose on the legs. And the legs here, is that one of the only wraps we do, is, is actually it's fleece. So um, it, it's not elasticated, it's, the fleece has got a little bit of stretch into it, really gentle on the skin you've got that at the waist there obviously it's going to sit higher but if you've got sensitive skin or you've got a child that's um got you know getting sensitive to marks or something like that really gentle so really really popular i know we're really low on stock but stock will be coming in they also make see there's me saying i was going to finish and i start talking um is um uh, that what one have i grabbed that is the all-in-one the petty lulu actually make an all-in-one cover um, but you can, let's open it up, you can actually take the um, insert out of it um, and then just use the nappy on its own. But again, it's got the fleece binding, so they're really popular um, for lots of children with sensitive skin. Uh, okay, what have I got here? I've done that one. How do you store nappies clean? Is it better to make sure the inserts are already in the nappy? Yeah. Um, right, so in terms of washing the nappies, Look at last week's video because I covered it in loads more detail there. 
um, about how to store them, you know, bucket or bag, and I go through the washing there as well. So have a look at last week's one. It's quite early on in last week's demo. It's like 90 minutes. It's quite early on in there how to do it. Um, do you have to keep one? Well, I, to match your inserts up, yeah, if you've got loads of different nappies, it can be, it's kind of matching them up, can be hard if you, until you know which ones they are. Often inserts can be kind of, you can cross match them, but they might have different absorbencies. So you might have one nappy that comes with an insert, if I can find it here, there we go. Little Lambs, it comes with its own bamboo insert, it comes with two, but each one only holds like 97 milliliters each. That isn't actually very much for a nappy. So if you put two in, you've still got under a 200 mil capacity nappy. Um, so you might think, oh, that, that's rubbish. It's not, but you know, it's not absorbent enough for my child. I need to really boost it. But then if you go and put those inserts into a different cover that, you know, maybe say you had the Charlie Banana, but you found more absorbent, all of a sudden your absorbency is still now moved to Charlie Banana. So what I'm trying to say is if you've got lots of nappies with lots of different inserts, you kind of got to be aware of how absorbent each insert is. So, which is why we try not to have people having like 20 different nappies because it can get, it gets confusing. This is going to be fun sorting all this out later. If you're not sure what you've got, particularly that happens if you've been given hand-me-down nappies, take photos. I quite like the game of match the insert and trying to identify what things are. So send us a picture uh, and we're trying to match up and kind of give you a guide as to what kind of absorbency you've got there. So otherwise, that is everything from me. I shall go and clear the floor of all these nappies. Um, gonna be some, I'm hoping this week to try and get some more demo videos out of videos that I haven't done yet on the websites. I know there's quite a few, I haven't had time and now I'm not going anywhere. Um, so that will be coming up. Any questions, just email in. All the admin team are still working. Um, if you need a recommendation, you don't know where to start, fill in our advice questionnaire. It is an entirely free nappy service. Um, so fill in the questionnaire and we'll get back to you within 48 hours. The ladies, they're all at home. They're, they're, they're really quite good, quick at the moment. So it'll probably be less than that. And we'd recommend what's going to be the right couple of systems for you. But yeah, I'll just get in touch. There's lots of things we can do to help you. But otherwise, have a great weekend and a great week, folks. And uh, stay safe.